Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys some more content with the Death's Oath character. Uh, so here we have a 78 Lich that I wanted to show you guys. That black smoke? Do we have a lichy poo? Actually, I actually have to mute this unfortunately. But this is just a, uh, just a short clip of me showing you guys how the character kind of deals with bossing. Uh, this may be a little bit slow, of course, you know, this is hardcore and I want to make sure I don't die. I also don't really know these fights. Um, but this is really important because I just wanted to show you guys if you're playing like a meme character as well. Sometimes you still can kill the bosses, which is good because one of the worst feelings in the game is like um, playing a build and then not being able to do bosses because you're like missing out on a lot of the content. So I want to make sure that you guys can actually like get to see everything. Um, so I'm just going to skip these ad phases because we don't need to like actually see them. We can just go back to the boss. But yeah, bossing hasn't been too bad on this guy. We've done two level 78 liches. Uh, my closest call I've had was probably there at the beginning. Uh, you saw me drop to like 4k or 3k ES. It's because I had like no clue what this guy does. But with flasks up and everything, he's no problem. We don't even really use fortify yet. I am going to have to probably use fortify. Um, just to kind of feel a lot more safe on these later bosses. We're using one spreading rot jewel um, currently as well since we are running the higher tier maps. Uh, spreading Rod is the Blight Jewel that gives you an increase of damage, well, makes monsters take an increase of damage, which is kind of like a multiplier, um, so it's really good for bossing. It only lasts for a couple seconds, though, because it's only when Blight's Hinder is applied, so ideally you want to make sure you kill things quickly. Um, but on bosses like these, you can't always keep up your stacks, so it's not really too bad, because like if they all fall off, then you get your damage multiplier again. Do -do -do -do. We also managed to get a 5 off-color Death's Oath, which I'll show you guys in a little bit right after this fight. Um, it took me probably like 200 chaos in total, probably actually even a bit more, but it's so fucking worth it now that I have it. Um, mapping feels... Map, it's not that mapping feels better. It, no, no, it just it just feels better. It just feels a lot, it feels a lot better. Uh, and the gems aren't even all 2020 yet. And I'll show you guys a demonstration of what we're running. Um, I'm basically going to be spam farming Shape Toxic Sewers for probably like the next couple days. Not because of any specific thing or drop table from Toxic Sewers. I just really like the layout and uh, it's fun to just do things different. You know, it's not strand, right? So I'm going to Alt F4 out of this and show you guys the current character. Okay, let me just log in and should be good to go. Okay, so this is me with my current setup uh, with the Breath of the Council that I'm running. We are, well, with Breath of the Council and regular jewels in, I'm 82.63, but I personally do like using one spreading rot, so I'm 8100. Um, with a Dark Seer, I'm 8700 with a jewel because Dark Seer gives one energy shield per level. So you could totally hit like 10k ES if you were to upgrade, like for example, my helmet. Uh, and my shield, these could both have intel suffixes and could be considerably higher on the energy shield. Maybe not the shield too much higher. Um, I mean, realistically, because they do get really fucking expensive, but a 300 ES helm is totally something that's within like price range uh, for me shortly. Okay, so I'm going to go take out a map here. Let's go pull out a shape toxic sewers. What do you have for me, buddy? Um, so it's 20% more monster life, cannot be stunned, vulnerability, alright, looks pretty good to me. So just to go over my links before I get started, I just want to show you guys, uh, remember you can always look at my character, Pox with Death, on my profile. Uh, you just have to go into my Twitch link and type exclamation mark profile or look at the description or comments and you can find it. So I've got Rallying Cry, Vigilant Strike, Discipline. I'm just testing out with, uh, with Vigilant Strike because it gives Fortify. I really want to move away from Shield Charge. I'm kind of sick of this skill. If I have to use it later on because it feels better, I will. But right now, this is working out. Spell Totem, which I need to flip. Uh, faster Casting, Wither, Increased Duration. Blasphemy, Temp Chains, Despair. Increased Duration, Vol Discipline, Vol Grace, Phase Run. Uh, we also have the Darkness Enthroned along with our Alepathy, with Swift Affliction, Conch Effect, Efficacy, Void Minip, and then in our chest piece, Void Minip, Arcane Surge, Efficacy, Conch Effect, uh, Swift Affliction, and Lesturation. I may make a video later on explaining how to properly do this. Um, if people know about like the Verici method on how to color using jewelers, I've put out a video on that. That's basically the method that you'll use. Unfortunately, you can get fucked sometimes, and you can get like 
um, a five off color death set. That's the incorrect colors, but that's just kind of how life is. Anyway, let me just go ahead and jump on into the map and show you guys how it plays. Just to confirm, this is going to be a T10 level 77 map with 20% more monster life. Damage mods you don't have to really worry too much about uh, because most adds die pretty quickly. So it's really like the monster life maps and the chaos res ones that you want to pay attention to. Remember, anything that doesn't die, you just one stack it with blight and blight will amplify the damage the targets take because of the spreading rot jewel. There's a shrine. Shrines are really feels good, man, with this build, because you just go like this. The two closest calls I've had while mapping have both been to detonate dead. One was to a Baymith, one was to just a box detonate dead. Um, I guess that's not really a build issue, that's more of like a skill issue. <laughs> so there's not much to say about that. Um, also a lot of the clearing comes from Profane Bloom rather than the actual Death's Oath. Profane Bloom is the ascendance, or occultist ascendancy which does this. As you see those pops there. The reason why it's so good and works out so well with Death's Oath, I guess not necessarily Death's Oath, but more of like scaling curses, is because if you kill a target with Death's Oath, like here for example, it can still cascade into this room like that, mainly because Profane Bloom, which is from the Occultist sign here, actually can chain between the curses. So as long as you kill a target that's cursed, it has a chance of going boom. If Profane Bloom kills a target that's affected by a curse, it still goes boom, or has a chance to go boom. So that's really nice as well. So even though you lower the AoE with your conch, your cascade clearing is still, like, totally fine. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much the character. Just wanted to show you guys it, and uh, it's a lot of fun so far. I'm probably going to go ahead and continue to run the Shape Toxic Sewers. We'll see how far we can go in them. I'm leveling still pretty fast, even at level 91 from these Toxic Sewers, so... I'm uh, probably going to go up to them like easily to like 95, I'm going to assume. I'm just, I really like them. I don't know why. They're just cool. Uh, and then I got to fill out the rest of my atlas. We got unique maps to run over here. I've got like the big boy maps to do over here and then boost this up to like maybe 120% or something. But anyway, that's pretty much about it. Just wanted to keep you guys up. This is fucking T9. I have to do tower. This is, uh, I just wanted to update you guys a little bit. Uh, of course, if you did like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Uh, just as a reminder to you guys, uh, you can always look at my profile. I know I said this earlier, but it has like all of my characters on. And for the people who always ask, no, I do not use a flask macro. You can hear all the individual key presses. This would be the actual keyboard. This would be the mouse. And then you can hear the mouse thumb buttons from here. Anyway, have a good one, everybody.